Let's talk about those lean issues, whether it be false air or vacuum leaks, unmetered air, either way. As we look at the mass airflow sensor, or in this early picture here, we see an old air vane meter, mechanical version of a mass airflow from years back. The air cleaner hose goes up to that sensor. Anywhere after that sensor, before the throttle body, it's atmospheric pressure, but it's air that has to be measured. It's air that gets in the engine. So if we have a leak, let's say that breather hose that is part of the PCV system going over to the valve cover, or if we have a seal, like I created a problem with this little Allen wrench between the rubber hose over to the, air, to the throttle body and up to around the plastic body of the mass airflow assembly, I made a leak. I loosened the hose clamp, I shoved that in there, I made an air leak. No vacuum, didn't hear the noise of vacuum suction because it was before the throttle body. That can cause as big of an issue as a vacuum hose that's off. So remember that. Now after the throttle body, everything will be negative pressure, vacuum, unless we're wide open throttle. Then we'll have either ambient or if it's supercharged or turbocharged, we'll have possibly some positive pressure in that intake from the boost. But at any rate, any air that gets in through there that the mass airflow did not know about, a vacuum leak. Uh, and in fact, as a matter of fact, anything in the entire intake system, whether that be maybe an injector seal at the bottom of where the injector plugs into the uh, uh, the side of the intake manifold right near the head or whether it be something that's in the fresh air side of the system, not just a breather hose that's falling out of the bottom of the rubber uh, pipe or tube that goes between the mass airflow and the throttle body, but something more obscure like a, like a uh, crankcase seal, maybe something in the valve cover gasket, maybe something in the uh, oil pan seal gasket. Anywhere where false air can get into that engine, it's going to affect the overall airflow used by that engine, and that will affect your readings of grams per second and the air fuel mixture. So important to take the whole picture into account and do good leak testing when you see low grams per second and high trims. You wanna look for the false air using smoke with a smoke machine. In fact, you do not have to have a smoke machine that has the full pressure gauge, the, you know, the water manometer and the flow meter, just a simple smoke machine that puts the smoke out because you're not looking to see how much sealing we've got. It's not a sealed container, it's an intake manifold. So therefore, you just wanna plug up one end of it. Let's just say maybe where the hose comes off uh, of the air cleaner assembly before it gets to mass airflow. You could use something like that that comes with smoke machines or one of these accessories that came out. A lot of techs love these. You pump this up and seal off a inlet let's say to the mass airflow, and then you apply your smoke or smoke with dye, a word on the dye, dyes come with a set of glasses, a certain dye for a certain, certain glasses. They all look the same, I admit, but good old shooting glasses, or maybe even sometimes even the glasses that come with the dye for air conditioning, do not help you see the dye luminesce as well as the ones that are designed for that dye. Now, ultraviolet light, the black light, that's pretty much universal, but the glasses go with the dye. So that's a minor point, but it can make a bit of a difference, especially looking for a tiny little leak where you couldn't see it with smoke. Now, obviously a bright white light can help you see the smoke better. And you think about something outside the box here, a laser, a laser pointer can help you see smoke as well. I mentioned CO2 as well. A lot of these testers can be used with not only nitrogen gas, which is inert, good for EVAP safety. When you're doing these for EVAP leak testing, you can use CO2 as well. The thing I like about CO2, now the five gas analyzers will measure CO2 if you've got one working, but there's actual CO2 testers that do a better job for this kind of leak testing on the market. You can look into one of those and use CO2 with a smoke machine or CO2 with adapters that come with some specialty tools and you can do a better job of measuring small leaks when in cases where you can't see it with the smoke. So my, my, my whole frame of thought on this, you can never have too many tools.